Hey, what's going on there? Caught me off guard. Sorry, uh, not really. I knew I was shooting this video. Uh, so today what I want to do is share with you guys uh, something that's somewhat of a mystery to a lot of people and that's how to rank super fast in, uh, in Google Maps. Sorry, I'm just bouncing around here on this road. Uh, I'm actually headed into the office to uh, shoot part two of this video for you. So uh, part one is gonna be me here in the car on the way to the office, and uh, part two will be me actually showing you step by step how to actually do this stuff. Um, so again, we're gonna be talking about how to rank super fast in Google Maps, and for a lot of people, this really is a mystery, all right? They don't know how to rank in Google Maps. Uh, and if they know kind of how it works, uh, they've never ranked themselves personally, um, or they just haven't been able to get high in, uh, in Google Maps, right? And uh, it's a shame. And it's a shame because as we get a boatload of calls from Google Maps, I mean a boatload. I'm talking 30, 40, 50, 60, 70 calls a week from one site from Google Maps, all right? And um, essentially, it's like old school SEO. You're just spamming the shit out of Google by building these uh, things that they call citations, which are nothing more than really old school directory sites, right? Except they're specifically for local business directories. Uh, and it's really the number one ranking factor when it comes to ranking in Google My Business or the seven pack, you know, the results there on Google when you see the maps, right? That's what we're talking about, how to rank there super fast. Uh, and it's really cool because the investment that we get from from Google Maps is absolutely huge. The return that we get is insane, but yet almost nobody does it. And it truly baffles me. Uh, so today I thought I'd share exactly how we're able to get ranking super fast in Google Maps. Uh, and I'm gonna back it up. I'm gonna show you guys some case studies, a couple different sites that we're ranking, uh, the call volume that we're actually getting. I'll pull up analytic call tracking uh, and actually show you the call volume that we're getting. And uh, a lot of these sites, guys, I haven't touched for three or four years, and they're still bringing in a good amount of calls week in and week out, day in and day out. And uh, essentially, all you have to do, again, is set up Google My Business and then just spam the shit out of Google. It's just like old school SEO days. So I'm going to show you guys again today how to get Google Maps rankings extremely, extremely fast. And... Uh, if you already have Google Maps rankings, but maybe you're not in the A, B, or C spot, right? Not the number one, not the number two, number three spot, maybe not even on the first page, but you are ranking somewhere. I'm gonna talk to you guys about something that we like to call authority citations. And this is really what you need in order to take yourself to the next level and get up in the A, B, or C spot inside of Google Maps. Um, this is really the secret sauce. So I'll be sharing this with you. Uh, and so if you've already got Google Maps rankings, uh, but they're not that great or they need improvement, Approved, this is it. This will jump you up into that first, second, or third spot in the seven pack there. And that's really where you guys are going to get all of your calls from, right? Is being in those top three spots in the seven pack. So um, I'm actually pulling up to the office here. Let me uh, let me jump out and uh, go inside, unlock the door, go inside and uh, pull up my computer and I'll be right back with you guys. I'm gonna show you exactly how to do this stuff step by step. So I'll see you guys in a second. All right, I am here in front of my computer all set up and ready to go for you guys. So first things first, let's kick this thing off. I want to show you guys two case studies of different sites that have been generating 30 plus calls per week just from Google Maps alone. And then we'll dive in. Uh, I'll show you exactly how to do this stuff step by step. We'll go through uh, how to actually submit to Google My Business uh, as well as you know where to actually get your citations, the important things that you really can't goof up here or you're not going to get the rankings as well as uh, the secret sauce, if you will, the authority citation. So let's jump right in. Here's a quick screenshot from analytic call tracking. What, you, what we use to track all of our calls for all of our client sites, all of our local lead gen sites, uh, all of our video rankings and everything that we do, right? Without being able to show a client uh, what it is that they're getting from us, it's very hard to retain clients, right? So uh, if you're a marketer and you're doing this stuff, you're watching this video, chances are you need analytic call tracking. So jump over. Uh, I believe they have a seven uh, or we have a seven day uh, dollar trial going on over there. Just jump over, get in, uh, check it out. You need to be using call tracking for your video. So you can see here, here's a screenshot from the actual interface, 30 plus calls per week from this site for three plus years right? 30 calls a week. This is worth a boatload of money to a local business owner, right? 
Here's another one. Actually, this is just an overview screenshot uh, from the company's page. You can see here 37 calls in the last seven days and 4,679 total calls that we've done from Google Maps through this one website alone. Here's another quick case study. This is in South Florida. Um, we have a bunch of different tracking numbers set up. That's why this tracking or why this screenshot looks a little bit different. Uh, we actually have a couple of different sites ranking in Google Maps uh, from basically uh, West Palm here down to Miami. Uh, so a bunch of little sites um, and uh, Miami's the, the big city there. So here you can see again, 30 plus calls per week for three years. Uh, in fact, 47 calls in the last seven days alone and uh, over 5,900 total calls we've generated for this client, all right? So the proof is in the pudding, right? This stuff works, it works super well. And Google Maps number one ranking factor is local citations, right? So what is a local citation? Honestly, guys, it's nothing more than we talked about earlier. It's nothing more than a listing on a local directory site. Essentially what you're doing is you're going out there and you're spamming the shit out of Google with all these local quote unquote citation sites. It's like what we used to do back in old school SEO to get good rankings for our sites, right? Essentially we're doing the same thing, except we're catering these to local directories and not just, you know, all over directories, right? So we're submitting to sites like Yahoo, right? So this is a citation. And specifically what we're looking for here is the name of the company, the address, and the phone number. All right, and these need to be consistent. Okay, here's one on Yellow Book. Again, name of the company, address, and phone number. And again, uh, here's one on Yelp. Okay. Again, the biggest thing you need to get right is the NAP. That's the technical jargon that everybody uses, and it just stands for name, address, and phone number. Again, it needs to be 100% consistent across all of the local directories, right? So here's just a quick screenshot, right? A recap of what I showed you just a couple of seconds ago. You can see here that everything is the same. The name of the business is the same, the phone number is the same, and the address is exactly the same, right? So guys, step number one for this whole process to get listed is you just need to go submit to Google My Business. Let's jump out of this, uh, this slide share here, or this screen share uh, presentation uh, in Keynote, and let me jump over to Google and I'll just walk you guys through this really fast. It's uh, super, super simple. So I'm at Google and what I need to do is do a search for Google My Business here. Just pick this first result, click get on Google here. And what I need to do is search for my business. So if my business is already listed, I wanna be able to pull that up. If not, I'm just gonna insert it and uh, you guys will see the results right here. So Honest AC Repair Miami, if I search for that, there's nothing listed, right? No, nothing matches that. So if nothing matches your searches, just click none of these match. Uh, if one of them already matches, you guys can follow those on screen prompts there. So next up, I'm just going to put in the business name, the region, the street address here. I'm just going to put in some fake information. Obviously, I'm not actually setting this up with you guys. All my sites are already and my client site are already on Google My Business. Fill in the state here, the city. Uh, let's put something in for the street address. Brickle Ave, uh, I think is a street in Miami. Yeah. Main business phone number. I'm just going to put in uh, some junk here. I know 305 is the area code. And then uh, category. So what you're gonna do here is just search for your category. Uh, AC repair and it's not listed here. Maybe air conditioning will bring it up. Let's see, get that in here. All right, yep, so I'm gonna choose AC repair services. And uh, this last option, I deliver goods or services. If customers don't come to you, that's what you're going to want to choose, right? So uh, if a dentist, if you're doing this for a dentist, obviously customers go to them, right? But if you're doing this for an AC repair company, um, they deliver goods or services to the customers at their location. Uh, so for some reason, it's not letting me proceed because I'm submitting <laughs> fake information. Let me see if I can get this to go through. Uh, let's see. I need the zip code. Unfortunately, I don't know it. Ah, uh, yeah, whatever. It's not going to work, right? So you guys get the point. You, so you're going to go through this. You're going to hit continue. Uh, it's going to ask you to continue filling out some information, adding in uh, some other details about your business. And then you guys are going to get a postcard in the mail uh, in about one to two weeks to that location that you put in for the address there. 
and uh, I've been getting those actually typically in about a week. It's going to give you a URL to just go to. You log in to Google My Business and uh, use the pin that they give you to actually verify uh, your submission and you'll be listed, right? So that's it. Let's jump back over to uh, setting up local citations. All right, so now that you guys know how to submit to Google My Business, the next step, step number two, is just to set up these local citations. Again, we're going out there and we're just spamming the crap out of Google with all of these local directory uh, listings, right, called quote-unquote citations. And uh, this has been working the same for a really long time, years and years and years. Uh, those screenshots and case studies that I shared with you uh, earlier in this video, those are all from doing this exact process, and citations are the number one ranking factor. All right, we've tested this stuff over and over and over again. So uh, the question I always get from friends, from students, is where do you get citations from, right? So there's a ton of different choices out there, uh, Yext, WhiteSpark, Bright Local, Moz, WL Marketing, uh, and I just want to walk you through real quick um, some things that you guys should be considering in the different price points. So Yext is $1,000 annually for their kind of uh, grade A plan, and Yext the way that they work is they submit actually um, to the sites directly or through some data aggregators and it actually takes some time for your sites to actually get listed there. Next up is WhiteSpark. So it's my understanding that WhiteSpark actually does these submissions by hand and they run four to five dollars each. So you go submit to Yext that or I'm sorry to Yelp that's four or five dollars right. If you go submit to Yellow Pages again another four or five bucks. Uh, and the same thing goes for BrightLocal.com. BrightLocal uh, I believe right now runs at about $3 each. And then you have Moz. Uh, so if you go check out Moz, it's moz.com slash local. And basically they have one centralized location where you log in and they push out the citations to the five main data aggregators that all of these sites basically pull their listings from. All right, so this is a great option for just 84 bucks a year to get on a bunch of different local directory sites. Uh, the big thing, though, about the data aggregators is realistically it takes anywhere from like 30 to 45, even sometimes 60 days for you to really get listed on all of these sites. So that's a long time for me personally um, on most of the stuff that I do. I don't like working with the data aggregators. Uh, my 100 percent vote and full confidence uh, for the last three plus years has gone to WLmarketing.com. All right. So I always order the same package from them. Uh, they do 300 local citations for 120 bucks, right? So for 120 bucks, this is where I submit to, I did this for the, the two case studies that I showed you, right? And because of it, I'm getting 30 plus calls per week. So 120 bucks is a very, very, very simple, easy investment, right? With a crazy ROI uh, for us. Okay. So if you guys are just getting started doing SEO for clients, this is an awesome service that you guys can go out and do for clients. It's so easy and the results that you guys are going to be able to get your clients are amazing. Absolutely amazing, right? You can get the same results that I did. Okay, don't forget though, make sure that you always, 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 always use a call tracking phone number. Okay, using a service like analytic call tracking, obviously we endorse them because uh, you know, we're part of that company, right? That is our product. Uh, use analytic call tracking and actually give your clients a login so they can go see what it is that you're doing for them, all the calls that you're generating for them. Okay, this is a crazy good hook strategy in order to keep your clients coming back to you over and over and over and uh, basically not letting them leave, right? This also works super, super well uh, for lead gen sites. Um, absolutely game changer in terms of lead gen. You guys can set this up for a client and then charge them a per lead fee uh, to run and manage their Google Maps listings, right? Uh, so the secret sauce really, I told you guys I would share for you with you guys to get in the top three uh, is what I like to call authority citation. So real quick, uh, this isn't rocket science. Authority citations are essentially uh, local city or county specific directories. Okay, so instead of Yext, maybe it's the, the local chamber of commerce in that area, right? And other local specific directories to that specific geo location, right? And the second type are niche specific local directories, right? There's directories out there, for example, that only cater to like the service industry, right? They only cater to AC repair and appliance repair and, uh, and things of that nature, okay? So these aren't exactly easy to find. 
right? You are not going to just be able to go out to WL Marketing and say, you know, give me these 300 citations. And when they bring them back, you say, all right, now I want some authority citations. They're not going to know what the heck you're talking about. All right. These take some digging, some research to actually find, right? You're going to have to go look for those niche specific citations and then those also local citations in your area. But lucky for you guys, as a bonus for checking out this video, I'm sharing my research below this video. All right. So this is going to give you guys a huge leg up, speed you guys up through the process and <laughs> save you guys just a boatload of time and ensure that you guys can rank in Google Maps and rank super, super fast. That's it. Check it out below. Grab those resources. It's going to be awesome for you. And I'll also include a quick recap in my slides of, uh, of today's video. So hope you guys enjoyed this. Again, this is how to rank on Google Maps super, super fast and get a boatload of calls to your local business or a local business that you're working with. Talk to you guys soon.